Hey guys, uh, so I come to you uh, with a bit of an impromptu video. Um, this is going to be, I think, probably kind of a rambly video. I, I have some notes uh, down, but on the whole, I um, just kind of want to free associate on a on a subject that has been on my mind a lot sort of over the summer, but it, it's an issue that sort of periodically comes up in my own, my own thinking about my own reading life. Um, and it's this issue of reading multiple books at once. Um, you know, I think most booktubers read multiple books at once, at least the sense, that's the sense I get when I watch booktube videos. Uh, you know, when I used to be religious about reading only one book at a time, um, because it was just, it just felt like a more efficient use of my time, because I, if I, what used to happen is when I used to read multiple books at once, um, you know, I would just end up reading a quarter or so, or maybe even less, of a few of those books, and then end up focusing on one. Or else I would just put them all down and pick up one other, one new one, and just refocus on that one. So it always ended up that I ended up focusing on one, and to the detriment of any of the others. And so I, I would just kind of waste a bunch of time reading a quarter of a few books when I could have just been reading more of one book. Um, and I also just always felt like, and I still sort of feel like this to an extent, that it is hard to hold several books in your head at once. Um, you know, there is something to, some, something to be said for the fact that you technically can't focus on multiple books at once. You can only switch your attention between them. And I fe I've always felt like, I still feel like, and I used to feel this probably even, I probably feel it somewhat less now that I, that I read more books uh, at once uh, than I used to, but I still sort of feel like, um, when you're reading multiple books at once, you're not giving, probably not giving each book the attention that it needs, um, because you're having to sort of man juggle the narrative of that book, whether it's fiction or nonfiction, with a few other books. Um, and I still sort of feel that. Um, and an another thing that, another issue with reading multiple books at once that was always a problem for me, and which is still a problem, is, uh, the fact that, uh, I'm a slow reader, um, and... On every given, on any given weekday, especially when I'm in, you know, classes, um, I don't necessarily have that much uh, energy to read when I get home. So a lot of times when I get home from a full day, it, you know, a lot of times all I can fit in is 20 to 30 pages, and maybe even less than that. Um, and when all that's all you have is 20 to 30 pages, um, discounting the weekends uh, where I do tend to read more. But if all you have is that little bit, then trying to chop it up between multiple books isn't going to be very satisfying because you're going to read like let's say you have 30 pages even and you're reading three books well you can read 10 pages of each you can read five pages of one five pages of another and then 20 pages of the third uh but none of those are all that satisfying because you're just like chipping away at three separate books where again you could be you know plowing ahead with one book and making more progress with that one um and this is why when I originally started my booktube channel, I, um, originally, like, if you go back to my earliest videos, originally I wanted to focus on just doing book review videos on individual books. Um, that was what I was gonna do, that's what I was sure I was gonna do when I started my channel. Um, and, and in part that's because one booktuber who I very much emulated and, and still look up to, uh, even though she doesn't really make videos anymore, was uh, Ashley over at Climb the Stacks, um, who I'm sure many of you have uh, encountered. Um, and she does, she always did these incredibly articulate, thoughtful reviews. I'm still kind of in awe of her skill at, at reviewing books, and I still kind of strive to be more like her, even though I, I never really get there. Um, but, you know, that's that's what I wanted to be as a booktuber, was someone who did review videos. And I thought, well, that's perfect for a slow reader like me, because I'll just make one video uh, maybe once a, a week, maybe once every couple weeks or so, um, and that'll be my channel. Um, but then, uh, I joined BookTube, and, uh, things sort of changed. I, uh, when I joined BookTube, when I started my channel, I also started to watch a lot more BookTube. Uh, before I joined BookTube, I actually didn't watch that much BookTube beyond, like, a few core channels, and I'm still like that to an extent, but I've definitely diversified my viewing habits on BookTube. Um, and obviously, um, 
most, the vast majority of booktubers read multiple books at once. Um, you know, you'll see Friday Reads, um, many of them being posted tomorrow, where people will talk about, you know, five different books, um, where they're at varying stages in the book. Um, and uh, so I think I joined booktube and got kind of swept up in that, um, because I do feel like there is a bit of um, pressure on booktube to have a few different books to talk about at once. Um, and not everyone is stoked to watch an entire review video about just one book because the, the, the viewers may not be that interested in that one book. Um, and so if you can talk about multiple books in one video, then that sort of gives everyone um, more of a chance to get interested. If there's you know at least one book that they're interested in, maybe they'll be more interested in the video as a whole. Um, and so, and on top of that, what happened when I joined BookTube was that I started to do uh, read-alongs and buddy reads. Um, and the thing with read-alongs and buddy reads is that um, they're great. I always get a lot out of them, but the problem with them is that they do kind of rob you of some of the autonomy over your reading life. Um, you know, sometimes I do find myself feeling a little bit trapped by uh, the buddy reads and read-alongs that I have scheduled, um, where, you know, I feel like I can't just read a book that I really, really want to read because I know that I have, like, three buddy reads coming up, and this book I want to read is maybe, like, 500, 600 pages long, and so it wouldn't be good for me to start it now when I know I'm just gonna not have time for it in a few weeks when I start all these buddy reads. Um, and so a natural solution to that is to say, well, I can chip away at that other book while I read these other books that I'm buddy reading. Um, and, and also with BookTube, because you find out about so many more books when you're on BookTube, y um, y you, you, there, there's a certain impatience. You know, you find out about so many books, and um, you probably, if you're like me, you started acquiring a lot more books when you joined BookTube. There's a lot of impatience. Uh, in wanting to get to certain books, um, and you know, you you might you, you might be at page three hundred of an eight hundred page book, uh, and there might be a you know two hundred page book that you're really really looking forward to to, to reading, um, and you might decide that you just don't want to wait anymore, and so you, you you just start it, and you're reading a couple books at once. Um, I uh, you know, and I feel like that does tend to lend itself to short books, both because of the sort of um, I guess time management aspect of it, where um, you, when you're reading multiple books, you're going to be making less progress with each one, um, and so that encourages short books because you know you can still finish them in a timely fashion, um, while you know still only reading a, a little bit of each per day. Um, so that does end up sort of encouraging short books, and I mean, I think most people the majority of the books that they read are short, not not because of laziness or anything like that, but just because I think the majority of books that are published, the majority of books in the world are not that long. I mean, most books published in any given year probably don't exceed 300 pages. Um, and so there's just that mathematical aspect to it, but still, I do think that that mentality of reading multiple books at once encourages short books. Um, but, um, and, and, Anyway, uh, so this is just a, all a bit of a big thought dump about all these issues. Um, I don't know quite what what um, point this video has. I don't know whether I'm going to come to any resolution right here in front of you. Um, but uh, I, you know, I tried to think of a of a two different compromises um, to this issue because um, I really like videos where um, someone talks about a lot of books. I do like you know wrap ups. And Friday reads, they are, they are, you know, what I live for in many ways. Um, because, you know, much as I love well-done book review videos, I'm not always interested in the particular book that a person is reviewing, no matter how good the review video is. And so those wrap-ups and Friday reads are good to just get a sort of smattering of, of some books that, uh, some of which will certainly be very interesting, some of which may be a little bit less interesting. Um, and uh, so I think a compromise... Um, but, again, I do like those longer, more in-depth book review videos that allow you to read a bit more slowly and just post videos on occasion on, like, one or, one or two books. Um, and so, a couple of compromises that I sort of thought of, and I guess, I, you know, I would love any feedback on these, what you guys think of them. Um, one was to just take breaks from longer books, um, you know, 
I'm, I'm, you know, I'm working on Middlemarch right now, and I just finished book one. And, uh, you know, you, you when you think about it, Middlemarch was probably published in a serialized form. So people who read it initially would have read book one and then would have waited for the next periodic next issue of the periodical to come out um and then read the next issue and that would would have been you know a few months later um so taking a break after book one of middlemarch to read something a bit shorter might not be all that uh unnatural um so one of the solutions to this was to just take breaks in between sections of large books to read shorter books um although that may end up sort of um landing you in that pitfall of you know reading shorter books, because in those breaks, it's like, well, you know, I don't want to take too long a break from Middlemarch, because then I'll lose all my reading momentum, so then, you know, am I going to pick up a 500-page a book, or am I going to pick up a 100-page book? Um, but uh, that was one idea I had. The other idea was to, um, was more, had more to do with my channel, on how my channel is structured. I, you know, I, I, I liked the idea when I started my channel of having, um, a very, sort of a regular schedule of book review videos coming out, one or two per month, um, having that be it. And then when I started to shift more to doing like Friday reads and such, I thought, okay, Friday reads um, every Friday, obviously, uh, and then a wrap up and then tags whenever I feel like it. Um, and I always liked the idea of having sort of regularly scheduled programming, so to speak, on my channel. Uh, but it doesn't seem to happen here. Um, and, th I mean, I know I'm not alone. There are a lot of booktube channels that post a little erratically. Um, and I, that's fine. I don't think that's a problem at all. But, um, uh, anyway, uh, one way of arranging my channel that I thought of was to, you know, post mostly review videos. One or, again, one or two per month. And then at the end of each month, do a wrap-up video. Um, and that wrap-up video will have fewer books uh, because I won't be reading multiple books at once and I'm a slow reader, um, but it'll still give people a sort of dose of that, you know, uh, what I think we all like Booktube for, which is just someone rambling about a, d a variety of books at once, um, while, also while also satisfying the people who might like more in-depth reviews of specific books that you're reading. Um, uh, so, anyway, that, that was... <laughs> That, those are the compromises I, I thought of um, right now. This is, again, a sort of a rambly, um, I don't know, undisciplined uh, video where I just wanted to sort of think this issue through and get a lot of thoughts out. Um, I don't know how coherent I was, um, but we'll see. I will um, I will rewatch this before I post it, and if it sounds incomprehensible, I'll try to record it again. Or if I can... Uh, uh, make it more comprehensible by editing it than I will, but if not, then I will just post it. Um, so, anyway, yeah, so, I mean, any thoughts that you have on this issue? Like, do you guys, do you guys read multiple books at once? Um, or do you prefer to read one book at, uh, at a time? Do you alternate between those two? I mean, do you read one book at a time every now and then, but mostly reading multiple books? Or do you, uh, you know, the other way is the other way around? I don't know. Like, do you guys have thoughts on this issue? Um, and if you're a booktuber, how do you, you know, how do you resolve this issue, I suppose? Um, so anyway, yeah, just uh, let me know your thoughts, and uh, I hope you, I hope this video was sort of interesting. Um, I don't know, it's mostly just me wanting to give thoughts, basically. Um, but uh, anyway, I hope uh, you're all having a good week. Uh, I have been having an exhausting week, uh, and I can't wait for the weekend. So anyway, uh, I'll talk to you all later. Bye, guys.